la mbona siponi Rangi na zikumbuka sina shida ya uoni Sere wiki ni metumia ila nafusi oni Ndugu zangu na uliza ni peni yenu The threat of antimicrobial resistance has been recognized globally. According to UN report, it is estimated that 10 million people per year will die due to antimicrobial resistance by 2050 if no urgent action is taken. Importantly, it has also been recognized that antimicrobial resistance compromises the achievement of sustainable development goals. As well as affecting multiple sustainable development goals, antimicrobial resistance also has serious economic consequences. The World Bank predicts that 24.1 million people could fall into extreme poverty by 2050 because of antimicrobial resistance. Well, antimicrobial resistance occurs when microorganisms such as fungi, bacteria and viruses resist the effects of medicine. This makes even common diseases harder to treat, increasing the risk of spreading of diseases, severe illness, and even death. When we say antimicrobial resistance, we do not mean that the body has become resistant to medicine, but rather we mean microorganisms have become resistant to medicine. This is Dodoma, the capital city of Tanzania. Just like many other cities in different countries, also experiences irrational use of antimicrobials. Antimicrobial resistance is not given enough attention and the public is insufficiently aware of its existence, uh, leading to behaviors which uh, uh, accelerate the emergence and the spread of antimicrobial resistance. Rollback antimicrobial resistance initiative, an NGO with special focus to contain AMR, has been taking efforts to increase AMR awareness and promote positive behavioral change to reduce the failure of treatment of infections due to antimicrobial resistance. Arabia Initiative covers both rural and urban communities. The organization focuses on promoting better understanding about AMR from an early age. Arabia Initiative runs AMR school clubs, educating children about superbugs. Arabia Initiative AMR school clubs help to empower young people to become agents of change and encourage them to bring that knowledge to their families and communities. AMR School Club Project is a project that involves school children. Children that are future parents, children that are future healthcare providers, children that are future leaders and policymakers. This project, having involving arts and crafts, have enabled a number of students in the Doma region, Tanzania, in increasing and spreading the knowledge of antibacterial bioresistance to their community and their families. <laughs> Nimejifunza 
na mambo mbalimbali ambayo yataweza kuelimisha watu wengine au jamii kwa ujumla. Na jinsi furaha kukaa katika klabu klabu hii kwa sababu inaniwezesha kujua mambo mbalimbali kwa kwa mfano antibiotic haya, haiwezi kutibu mafua. Elimu hii ambayo imetolewa kwa kipindi cha mwaka mmoja ni ina manufaa sio tu katika afya lakini pia katika mazingira yetu. Kwa maana ya kwamba hata vikao vichache ambavyo tumewahi kukutana na wazazi kupitia 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 mradi huu wao wenyewe wamekiri kwamba elimu iliyokuwa inatolewa kwa watoto tumeweza kwenda kusaidia moja kwa moja na familia kwa maana ya jamii. Chanzo cha mengi matatizo kutumia dawa ni kwa nafasi ya vina Edwin Shimbora. Toka amekuwa akipata elimu, amekuwa msaada katika familia yetu. Kwanza kabisa amekuwa akituelimisha kuhusu matumizi ya dawa. Si si si, si vizuri kutumia dawa bila kumuona daktari au kushauriwa na daktari. Pia siruhusiwi kuchangia na mtu dozi ya dawa. Watu wawili kuchangia dozi hairuhusiwi. Inachangia kuleta vi virusi vimelea sugu pia amekuwa akitushauri kila kunawa kila kila wakati kama tumeshika kitu chochote kufanyaje sio sio kushika kitu kingine bila kunawa mikono moreover further motivation for active participation is encouraged through RBA initiative MR Arts and Crafts competition this is an innovative way of educating the school children on Emara and reaching the community with the key messages in a fun way. Umuhimu wa sanaa katika kufikisha elimu kwa jamii na kwa watu wengine. Kianza na uchoraji. Uchoraji ni sanaa ambayo inamfanya mtu anaweza kupata elimu kupitia kitu ambacho umekichora. Mfano mtu labda akamchorea vifaa kuna wengine wajuu kusoma unaweza kwa kimchorea vile vifaa vitu vingine akiona tu picha yani hata kama wajuu kusoma akiona tu picha anaelewa kuna wengine kuhusu uigizaji kwenye uigizaji hapo mtu mwingine anaweza ukawa unamuelimisha kwa maneno asielewe lakini akiona pale watu wanavyoigiza wanaofanya vitu mbalimbali ataelewa mbe mambo sijui eh usugu wa vimelea sijui usugu wa kwa nini usugu wa vimelea suzidi ya dawa alafu kuna kingine kuhusu nyimbo kuna mwingine unavyomuelimisha yani vitu vingia kilini kwa kufanyaje kwa kuhiyo na nilia kwa ku, kwa kumuelimisha vitu vinaingia kilini labda kwa nyimbo ukiangalia nyimbo za bongo flavor hizi watu ni mepesi kukalili kuliko vitu vingine kwa hiyo nyimbo unaweza kutumia pia kuelimisha na kufikisha elimu ya usugu wa vimelea vya magonjwa zidi ya dawa kwa binadamu eti kwa kwa binadamu na wanyama tutapunguza galamba na uchumi kuendeleza tutapunguza na vifo vinavyozidi duniani tukishiriki the ambi initiative mr arts and craft competition has been fun um, but um, also has enabled these students to really participate and involve themselves um, into the RB initiative MR school clubs. This has motivated their creativity in communicating antimicrobial resistance knowledge in an easy and a funny and a way better understandable um, 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 language to their community since uh, we all know that arts and craft has been used uh, from uh, a long time ago in, uh, in, in, in educating the communities uh, in reminding the communities on the dangers of different things now we felt that by using this kind of competition we'll be able to to achieve better results as far as transmitting and communicating antimicrobial resistance knowledge to to their community this year we've had a, a, a a, 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 a successful competition whereby we we have one, we had one school uh, being a winner and but also in in addition to that the school was awarded a hand hygiene washing station uh, since we all know that hand hygiene being the cheapest but also uh, the the effective way of 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 preventing the spread of uh, of resistant um microorganisms so 
we really are, 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 are happy but uh, also we call for different stakeholders who would wish to support this kind of competitions uh, to reach us and see in a way that we will work together to ensure that the antimicrobial resistance uh, uh, messages are well communicated to our communities and our children. Lakini si watoto tu, lakini pia na uh, walimu hata wageni ambao watakuwa wanakuja kutembelea shule kwetu uh, kwa ajili ya hizo mbalimbali kama masuala ya masomo au vingine. Lakini pia unaweza kupata tuma hii ya nao ambao tunashukuru sana RBA kwa kushupatia zawadi nzuri. Lakini pia imekoresha hapa kwa sababu watoto wengi hapo mwanzo walikuwa wana kwanza ile changamoto ya upatikanaji wa maji ukisababisha watoto wengi wakawa yani wana 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 wanatumia vitu tofauti lakini bila kuzingatia njia zile za usafi kwa sababu hakukuwapo na upatikanaji wa maji karibu na maeneo yao au mazingira yao ya ya kusomea Leo pia tumefanya makabidhiano ya ya, ya eneo muhimu sana ambalo ninahusika na unawaji wa mikono kitu ambacho kuzingatia na hali ya ya, ya sasa ya kiafya kwa maana ya corona na kadhalika ni msaada mkubwa sana na kwa hilo pia tunashukuru kwa hiyo tunaona sio tu afya kwa maana ya elimu ile ilotolewa lakini hata katika upande wa mazingira na miundo mbinu tunapata tunapata vitu ambavyo vinatija na kwenda kuendeleza kuendeleza uh, kumbukumbu kumbu hiyo kwa kipindi kirefu ambacho ambacho tunategemea kutunza. Na mimi naahidi tu sehemu hii ama eneo hili tutaendelea e, tuta, tuta, tuta kulitunza ili liweze kutumika na liweze kuwa na tija sio tu kwa hawa ambao mwaka huu tunao lakini hata kwanza nichukue nafasi hii kwa kuongeza tungetamani ziwe hata shule zote nchini ziwe na school clubs ambazo zitatusaidia kupambana na usugu wa vijidudu wa, wa, wa vijimelele vijidudu dhidi ya dawa kwa hiyo uh, bado niende niende kwa encourage sababu kazi bado ni kubwa ndio uh, tumeanza kwa uh, niombe muongeze jitihada na hata wale ambao wanatusupport waone namna ya kuwawezesha ili kuongeza nguvu zaidi na tuweze kufikia shule nyingi